Air Greenland A.S., also known as Greenland Air, is the flag carrier airline of Greenland, jointly owned by the Shash Group the Greenlandic government and the Danish government. It operates a fleet of 32 aircraft, including one airliner used for transatlantic and charter flights, nine fixed-wing aircraft primarily serving the domestic network, and 22 helicopters feeding passengers from the smaller communities into the domestic airport network. Flights to heliports in the remote settlements are operated on contract with the Government of Greenland. Besides running scheduled services and government contracted flights to most villages in the country, the airline also supports remote research stations, provides charter services for tourists and Greenland's energy and mineral resource industries and permits medevac during emergencies. Air Greenland has seven subsidiaries, an airline, hotels, tour operators, a travel agency specialized in Greenlandic tourism and the Arctic Umeak Line, an unprofitable but government-subsidized ferry service. History Founded in 1960 as Gronlandsfly, the airline started its first services with Catalina water planes and within the decade expanded to include DHC-3 Otters as well as Sikorsky S-61 helicopters, some of which remain in active service. The majority of operations were based on helicopters until the newly established Greenland Home Rule began investing in a network of short take-off and landing airfields. These were very expensive to construct and Greenland's airport fees are still among the highest in the world. They also required a new fleet, DHC-7 turboprops uniquely suited to the harsh terrain and weather conditions in Greenland. The reliability of connections improved as the domestic airport network expanded in the 1990s. Increasing use of the Dash 7s made the airline less restricted by inclement weather. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, Air Greenland acquired a Boeing 757 and an Airbus A330, allowing it to open connections to Copenhagen, until then operated by Shash which also competed mid to late 2000s. In the 21st century, it competes with Air Iceland for international connections and small charter services domestically. Topic. 1960s The airline was established on 7 November 1960 as Gronlands Fly A.S., by the Scandinavian Airlines System now Shash and Kryolitselskabet Orisund, a Danish mining company involved with the cryolite operations at Ivertuet to provide transport and logistics for four American radar bases in Greenland. In 1962, interests in the firm were acquired by the Provincial Council now the Greenland Home Rule Government and the Royal Greenland Trade Department now KNI. .The first flights serving the American bases in Greenland operated lightweight DHC-3 Otters and Sikorsky S-55 helicopters chartered from Canada. After a crash in 1961, Gronlandsfly used PBY Catalina water planes and DHC-6 Twin Otters on domestic routes. One of the Catalinas then crashed in 1962. In 1965, the Douglas DC-4 became the line's first larger airplane. It was followed by Sikorsky S61 helicopters which have remained in use in 2010 they still served the communities of Kujalaku municipality in southern Greenland year round and those of Disco Bay during the winter Topic 1970s During the 1970s, Gronlandsfly upgraded its DC-4 to the newer DC-6, but principally focused on expanding its helicopter fleet, purchasing five more S-61s. By 1972, it opened up service to East Greenland with a helicopter based in Tassilak, and established Greenland Air Charter. Mining at Marmoralik in the Uumanak Fjord required still more helicopters, and the airline purchased Bell 206s for the route. 
Gronlandsfly also picked up a Danish government contract to fly reconnaissance missions regarding the sea ice around Greenland. By the end of 1979, the number of Gronlandsfly passengers served annually exceeded 60,000, more than the population of Greenland. That year, the airline's first international route was also opened, running between Greenland's capital Nuuk and the town of Iqaluit in northern Canada. The route connected Greenland's Kalaallit with Canada's Inuit and was operated in conjunction with the Canadian First Air Line, but the planes were generally run empty and the route was shuttered 13 years later. Topic: 1980s The establishment of the Greenland Home Rule government in 1979 led to investment in a regional network of true airports, with short take-off and landing airfields constructed in Nuuk, Ilulissat and Kulisuk. These early airports were built without de-icing equipment, a situation which has proven problematic during Greenland's winters and continues to cause delays and losses for the airline. The decade also saw the company train and hire its first native Kalaallit pilots. To service the enlarged network, Gronlandsfly began acquiring DHC 7s, planes particularly suited to the often severe weather conditions in Greenland. The first was delivered on 29 September 1979, followed by more over the next decade. These planes remain in active service, serving every airport except Nølrit and Art near Itokkortemiite, whose operation is handled by Air Iceland under contract with Greenland Home Rule. In 1981, Gronlandsfly opened its first route to Iceland, linking Reykjavik Airport to its main hub at Kangalusuak via Kulasuk. In 1986, a route to Keflavik allowed the company to break SAS's monopoly on flights between Greenland and Denmark via a Keflavik Copenhagen leg operated by Icelandair. By 1989, the airline employed more than 400 Greenlanders and carried more than 100,000 passengers annually. Topic: 1990s. The company saw its activity curtailed as the mines at Ivertuit and Marmorilic closed operation, leading to a recession in the Greenlandic economy. As the situation improved, the network of regional STOL airports was extended with Sisimiat Airport, Maniitsok Airport and AASIAAT Airport built in mid-western Greenland and Karsat Airport and Upanavik Airport built in northwestern Greenland. With the purchase of a fifth 7, Gronlandsfly was, for the first time since its inception, able to provide plane services to all major towns in Greenland. Uumanak is served by Karsat Airport in conjunction with its heliport. Gronlandsfly also purchased its first jet aircraft, a Boeing 757 200, which began operation in May 1998. The airliner was named Kanuungwak in honor of the Greenlandic explorer and ethnologist Knud Rasmussen, whose bust decorates in the terminal of Kangalusuak hub. The airliner allowed the company to run the profitable Kangalusuak Copenhagen route directly, without affiliates or a layover in Iceland. Thus, in 1999, the airline served 282,000 passengers, nearly triple the number at the end of the previous decade. Topic 2000s. Around the turn of the millennium, the airline renewed its aging fleet, retiring several of its S61 and 206 helicopters and replacing them with Bell 212s and Eurocopter as 350s. The company also sacked its CEO Peter Fitch, who had proven unable to balance Greenland Home Rule's demands for local Greenlander service with the boards for expanded tourism, lower fares and higher profits. Under his replacement Finn Oland, Gronlandsfly initially posted a 30 million Danish kroner loss as contractual obligations maintained unprofitable service while a strike ruined the summer tourist season and Post Greenland moved a lucrative mail contract to the Danish-owned Air Alpha Greenland. 
In response, the company successfully pushed back against Greenland Home Rule's large demands, high fees and low subsidies and rebranded itself, anglicizing its name to Air Greenland and adopting a new logo and livery on the 18th of April 2002. In 2003, Finoland left to head Maersk Air and was replaced as CEO by Fleming Knudsen. Air Greenland opened a route from Copenhagen to Akureyri in Iceland. The service lasted for six years before finally being deemed unprofitable and ended. Also in 2003, Shash abandoned its Greenland service, leading Air Greenland to purchase its second airliner, an Airbus A330 200 named Norsak. Shash briefly revived the service during the peak season in 2007 before dropping it again in January 2009. Owing to SAS's withdrawal from the market, Air Greenland received its contract with the U.S. Air Force for passenger service to and from Thule Air Base. Running from February 2004, the contract was renewed for another five year period in 2008 despite SAS's brief return to the market. The first takeover of another airline took place on the 28th of July 2006. Air Greenland acquired the Danish carrier Air Alpha's Greenland subsidiary. Air Alpha Greenland had operated helicopter flights in Disco Bay and in Eastern Greenland. Since the takeover, the acquired Bell 222 helicopters have been used for passenger transfers between Nørrebro and Art Airport and Itok Kortemiite Heliport. In 2007, Fleming Knudsen was moved to head the Royal Greenland Fishing Concern, and current CEO Michael Binzer was hired with a mandate to lead the company towards greater commercialization and self sufficiency under the QARSO Q2012 plan. On 13 June, Shash announced its intention to sell its stake in Air Greenland, a move later incorporated into its restructuring program, but as of 2012 it has not found any buyers. On 1 October, the airline introduced its e-ticket system. Also in 2007, Air Greenland began direct service with Baltimore, Washington International Airport in the United States of America. After 60 American visitors were stranded by a strike of Air Greenland employees and the company refused to make alternate arrangements for their return, ticket sales slumped and the route was closed in March 2008. In 2009, the airline carried 399,000 passengers. Topic: 2010s In the 2010s, Air Greenland has curtailed some services. On 1 January 2010, Air Greenland suspended its participation in SAS's Eurobonus frequent flyer program due to technical difficulties. In 2011, non-stop service from Nasserjuak to Copenhagen was suspended, however, some expansion is planned. In order to compete with Air Iceland, which operates service from Reykjavik Airport to Nuuk, Nasserjuak, Ilulissat and the east coast of Greenland and now controls about 15% the market in Greenland-bound travel, Air Greenland may open a non-stop route between Nuuk and Keflavik International Airport in Iceland. Also, owing to improved technology and higher commodity prices, the marmarillic mines were due to reopen in November 2010 with zinc and iron ore reserves projected to last 50 years. As in the 1970s, the mine supply flights to the mine will be operated by Air Greenland, using Bell helicopters based out of the Uumannak heliport. Air Greenland's last remaining twin otter was sold in 2011 to Norlandair in exchange for cash and a one fourth interest in the Icelandic company, reopening the connection to Iqaluit, now the capital of Nunavut, was considered by Air Greenland in late 2009, but finally happened in 2012. From 2012 to 2013, the airline saw a shy increase of four passengers flying to Nunavut over the previous year. However, this service ceased in 2015. In July 2015, Air Greenland became a member of the European Regions Airline Association. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Destinations. 
Air Greenland's domestic airport network includes all 13 civilian airports within Greenland. Outside Greenland, the airline currently operates transatlantic flights to Keflavik International Airport in Iceland and Copenhagen Airport in Denmark. Two international airports capable of serving large airliners, Kangalusuak Airport and Narsejuak Airport, were constructed as U.S. Air Force military bases during the Second World War and continue to be used for transatlantic flights. All other regional airports are STOL capable and are served with Dash 7 and Dash 8 fixed wing aircraft. Smaller communities are served via heliports which connect with hubs located at Upanavik Airport in the Upanavik Archipelago in northwestern Greenland, at Uumanak Heliport in the Uumanak Fjord region in northwestern Greenland, at Ilulissat and Aasiat airports in the Disco Bay region in western Greenland, at Kakortok and Nanortalik heliports in southern Greenland, and at Tassilak Heliport in southeastern Greenland. Of the 45 heliports in use, eight are primary and equipped with a tarmac, a terminal building and permanent staff. The other heliports are helistops with either a gravel or grass landing area. Often helicopters need to make more than one flight for each connection to a fixed-wing flight because of passenger capacity, causing longer total travel time. Air Greenland also performs charter flights within Europe on behalf of European travel agencies using its Airbus A330. In 2015, the decision voted by Greenland's governments to extend the runways of Nuuk and Ilulissat airports directly threatened the purpose of Air Greenland's single widebody aircraft. The A330 was only used from Pitufik and Kangalusuak to Copenhagen Kastrup, but in January 2017, Air Greenland had announced more commercial routes to be covered by the aircraft between Iceland and Greenland. In March 2017, Air Greenland also announced adding more flights to Kangalusuak. <laughs> Interline agreements The agreement makes it again possible to combine a trip, in one ticket. Air Greenland has interline agreements with the following airlines. DAT Denmark, Iceland Air International, Shash Scandinavia, Europe, International <laughs> Settlement flights Air Greenland operates helicopter flights to most settlements in Greenland. Settlement flights on contract with the Government of Greenland, with the destination network subsidized and coordinated by the Ministry of Housing, Infrastructure and Transport. Settlement flights are not featured in the company's timetable, although they can be pre booked. Departure times for these flights, as specified during booking, are by definition approximate, with the settlement service optimized on the fly depending on local demand for a given day. Settlement flights in the Disco Bay region are unique in that they are operated only during winter and spring. During summer and autumn, transport between settlements is only by sea, with services operated by Discaline, a government-contracted ferry service based in Ilulissat. Fleet As of April 2015, the Air Greenland fleet includes the following active aircraft. Topic: Fixed wing fleet. The Bombardier Dash 8 Q200 is the airline's primary aircraft, operating on all domestic airport-to-airport -airport routes. In 2010, the airline acquired its first Dash 8 aircraft. The Air Greenland fleet consists of the following aircraft as of August 2017. Air Greenland Bombardier Dash 8 Q200 aircraft at Kangalusuak Airport 2015 Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Helicopter Fleet The Bell 212 is the primary helicopter used for flights to district villages The older Sikorsky S61N machines are stationed in Ilulissat Airport and Kakortok Heliport 
With a capacity to seat 25 passengers, the S61 based in southern Greenland was used to shuttle passengers arriving from Copenhagen at Narsejuak Airport. The sale of the Boeing 757 in April 2010 contributed to the long-term decline of the airport, with the airline planning to remove the old helicopter from the fleet. Three of the Bell 222 helicopters are taken out of active service and remain stationed in Kangalusuak Airport having been put up for sale. Historical fleet In the past, Air Greenland also used the following aircraft. Topic: Management and structure. The Greenlandic government and the Shash Group are the largest shareholders of the airline, owning a 37.5% stake each. The Danish government owns the remaining 25% of the stock. The Ministry of Housing, Infrastructure, and Transport oversees the development of the transport industry in Greenland and controls Mitarfekafiit, the airport authority in Greenland. Between them, they control mandatory services, airport taxes, pricing policies, maritime connections and tourism development, effectively allowing Greenland Home Rule to control the company in spite of the other stakeholders. The board of directors, chaired by Julia Paz of Greenland Home Rule, includes representatives of all three shareholders and the airline employees. Michael Binzer, previously heading the airline's marketing and sales department, has been holding the position of chief executive officer since June 2007. Headquartered in Nuuk, the airline had 668 employees in December 2009. The airline's technical base is located at Nuuk Airport. Topic: <laughs> Charter The charter unit within Air Greenland is led by Hans Peter Hansen and employs eight people, with 13 helicopters and three fixed-wing aircraft at its disposal. Excess capacity of airplanes is used for regular charters to tourist destinations in Europe, Asia, and Africa. The helicopters, primarily the AS-350, are used for special flights, such as search and rescue, air ambulance, charter flights to the Thule Air Base on contract with the U.S. Air Force, geological exploration, and supply flights to the mining sites and the research stations on the Greenland ice sheet. During the peak summer season, the helicopter crew is supplemented by freelance pilots from Norway and Sweden. Other charter flights include heliskiing shuttles, services for the energy industry such as facilitating oil exploration or surveying for hydroelectric stations and environmental research counting polar bears and tracking other large Arctic fauna. Topic: <laughs> Subsidiary companies. Topic: Tourism. Hotel Arctic A.S., a hotel and travel agency based in Ilulissat, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Air Greenland. Greenland Travel A.S., a package tour travel agency based in Copenhagen, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Air Greenland. World of Greenland A.S., an outfitter company based in Ilulissat, is a partnership between Greenland Travel A.S. and Ilulissat Travel A.S. Topic: Aviation. <inaudible> 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 Norlandair EHF, is an Icelandic airline. Air Greenland owns 25% of the Icelandic airline company. Service Business class A flexible business class, named Business class is offered by Air Greenland on transatlantic flights aboard Norsak, its Airbus A330-200. 
The service includes a personal video screen, an in-seat power source, an amenity kit, blankets and a selection of newspapers. Passengers traveling on this class are eligible to use the Novia Business Class Lounge at Copenhagen Airport. Topic: Economy Class. Air Greenland offers flexible and restricted economy class on all flights operated with fixed wing aircraft with complimentary snacks and drinks. On transatlantic flights to Copenhagen, both economy class and business class seats are available, with in-flight meals served in all classes. Air Greenland publishes a quarterly Sulek wing in-flight magazine, with general information about current political and cultural events in Greenland and with news from the airline. Accidents and incidents On 29 August 1961, a DHC-3 Otter CF -MEX crashed 20 km 12 miles from Kangalusuak. The aircraft was a non-scheduled service en route from Kangalusuak Airport to AASIAAT Airport when a fuel leak caused an in-flight fire. One of the pilots was killed, while the other pilot and the four passengers survived. On 12 May 1962, a PBY Catalina flying boat registration CFIHA crashed during landing at Nuke Airport. The accident was caused by a mechanical malfunction in the nose wheel doors preventing them from closing during landing on water, resulting in the aircraft sinking. The accident killed 15 of the 21 people on board. On 25 October 1973, the Akigsik Grouse, an Air Greenland S61N Oi crashed about 40 km 25 miles south of Nuuk, resulting in the loss of 15 lives. It was en route to Palmiat from Nuuk. The same helicopter had had an emergency landing on the Kangalusuak fjord two years earlier, due to a double flame-out on both engines because of ice in its intake. On 7 June 2008, a Eurocopter AS350 crashed on the runway at Nuuk Airport. There were no injuries, but the helicopter was damaged beyond repair. On 29 January 2014, Air Greenland Flight 3205, an Air Greenland 8 Q202 registration or GRI, was involved in a runway excursion accident at Ilulisat Airport BGJN, Greenland. Flight GL3205 originated in Kangalusuak Airport BGSF, Greenland. Four passengers were taken to the hospital for observation, there were no fatalities or serious injuries. The aircraft went off the left side of the runway and down a 10 to 15 meters drop-off and came to rest on rocky terrain approximately abeam the runway 25 threshold. There was strong crosswind conditions gusting at 35 knots. The aircraft was not repaired. Topic. See also Shash Group Scandinavian Airlines Transport in Greenland List of airports in Greenland List of the largest airports in the Nordic countries List of companies of Greenland Economy of Greenland